Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be doing an early look lineup build for the PGA event this week, and I literally forgot what it's called. Uh, what is it called? This is a good question. The WWA and T, it's some low level, I would say low level, what's the worldwide technologies, something like that. So in any case, it's one where Ludwig Aberg is the highest price guy on the slate. So you don't have all the big dogs, but it's still paying 100000 or so for first. So we are going to take a shot at this. Uh, and also give us the opportunity to teach you guys how to use, again, the TrueDFS sheets, as well as the SaberSim uh, lineup builder slash contest simulator. And again, this is an early look, and we're going to be having updated ownership projections uh, tomorrow. Uh, slate is Thursday. Um, but we do have some ownership projections, and uh, we're going to uh, upload those into the system and uh, see how it goes. But the first thing I want to do, sort of in the same way I do most sports, I want to start by making a hand-built lineup, giving you guys a sense for what the slate's going to look like. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to show you my sheets. And again, this is a little early, but it, it's pretty decent. The, the, my projections and ownership projections, not great, but it's, it's not bad quite yet. Um, and we'll just kind of go through how to do this. Now, again, we can rank these guys any way we want uh, by fantasy points, by point per dollar, uh, which is basically fantasy points into salary or sheets value score, which is kind of a combination of upside of points per dollar and just raw fantasy points. So what we're going to try to do is just take a look and see what this, this field looks like according to sheets value score and kind of build the lineup. Um, the first thing that you'll notice is that the top two guys here are, you know, pretty decently ahead of the others. You have Uber at you know, with a value score of 430 and at with, 425 and then a kind of a decent size drop and then after uh gim it's a it's a, another decent size drop so these four guys um are pretty strong you know aberg ekro young and gim now what i'm looking at in addition to that is the fact that at least currently ekro and gim are looking to be very moderately owned so again this can all change but again we're talking about process how to actually do this stuff so that's where I would start. I would start by by either Oberg and Ekroat, Oberg, Ekroat, and Gim. If you wanted to get a, I don't even think you're getting different here because you see Young, basically the same ownership as Aberg, but is just not as good of a play. So I can't quite see a reason to play Young unless you could somehow maybe play them both. So you do see like a whole bunch of good 7K guys here. So it's going to be pretty easy, I think, to build a nice hand-built lineup. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll put in the, the par four. We're not going to actually put it in. Maybe we'll save it or whatever. But just to see, let's just say if we can play them both. Yeah, you can't play them both. Okay. So we'll start with the more expensive. We'll, we'll go Olberg. And then we just, just take it right off the sheet. We go Ekroat. And then who else was it? Uh, Gim, Champ. Taryn, right? 7,800, man, I mean, you could totally do this. I mean, you can almost just take the highest rated guys according to Sheets Value Score and go right down the list here. Um, then you can go Pendrith. I mean, you can do whatever you want here. I mean, according to my sheets, you could play, you'll probably want to play Pendrith and, and Griffin, maybe or Pendrith and Putnam, something like that. But this is extraordinarily easy. Okay, so when it comes to building hand-built lineups, this is a very, very quick video. Uh, you could do something like this. You could swap Uberg for Young if you want. You can mix and match all these 7K guys here. You could leave some of these on the table. Extraordinarily easy slate. Now, again, as projections update and as these guys up top become higher owned, it becomes a little harder, but uh, from a... Just sheet-based perspective, this is a trivially easy slate. Um, okay, let's now pull in, uh, should I save this? Just so I don't forget, just, just in case. All right, so let's now pull up Saberson and let's build a whole bunch of lineups. 
using both the regular lineup builder and also the the um, the contest simulator. So we're going to build, we're going to put our projections in here. We're going to replace the Sabersome ones with ours. And we're going to build, we'll build a full 150. We'll build 150 lineups. Well, actually, we're building again a pool of 5,000. And what we're doing while that happens, we're building a, uh, we're adding the contest sim data. And we're going to look at the lottery, which is the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, well, it could be the drive the green, but sand trap is the one we're interested in here. That's that lottery. We'll call it sand trap because that's what it's called. That would be the right sand trap. Um, why is it taking so long to build these? Uh, we'll add another contest sim just for the hell of it. Let's do that par four, the one that we just made. I know I'm probably going to play the snowman, so I may as well build that one also. Uh, snowman is where. How do they list these? I don't know what the order is. Make a snowman. What was the snowman? Boom. Now we're just waiting for this bad boy to finish. Um, so again, we're going to look at it two different ways. We're going to look at it with from the the, uh, the regular Saber score ranking, which is always which has always been really good to me. You know, I haven't really fiddled around with with PGA since the contest sim settings were kind of rolled out. Um, so I don't even know how much I'm going to use. I mean, I have to I have to respect the technology somewhat, but boys had good low on lineups just using my projections with the regular Sabre score uh, approach. So I'm going to fiddle around. Maybe what I'll do is maybe I'll do like, say if I'm playing the 150, I'll play 75 lineups with the regular Sabre score and then 75 lineups with the, uh, uh, that are generated from the contest simulation data. And again, you, I want to make sure they're not duped and you could, you could do that a couple of different ways. Almost done. After I do this, we're going to do an NBA video. So let's get that fired up, ready to go. Content life here. To mention all the other crap I got going on today. These are the NBA guys are opening up in a second. Almost done. Okay, so um, here we be getting actually, not surprisingly, the highest stone guys with the highest guys in my rankings: Eber, Gim, Ekro, Champ, Taron, Putnam. Not a surprise. I'm just curious though, if I if I run the contest sim, if it's going to change it, I'm guessing probably not, because and this is a little trick, because none of these guys are high owned according to my initial projections. So I I don't know if it's going to help. I want to say help. I don't know if I'm going to get anything that much different than this when I run the contest simulator because what the contest simulator does is it again it presumes a field of lineups and compares yours to theirs and tries to get a little different i guess but if our lineups are already not very different or excuse me if our lineups are already low owned it's not really going to make too much of a difference we shall see All right, uh, let's look at the uh, sand trap. Sort by risk adjusted ROI. And it's the same uh, same dudes, pretty much. Let's take a look at the par four. Same dudes, pretty much. 
Let's take a look at the snowman. Same dudes, pretty much. So, uh, unfortunately, and again, I didn't realize this was going in. It was a pretty boring video. These are the guys that if the slate were locking now, which it is not, if, uh, if, if the projections were what they are, which they won't be, uh, if the ownerships are what we were projecting, which they are not, <laughs> then this is what you would do. You just play, you just jam all these dudes in, get really overweight on, look at this, 90% Aberg, 75% Ekrode, 71% Gim, et cetera, et cetera. But we're going to change all this. But again, I just wanted you to get used to the process and how you go about doing that. Uh, the other thing you could do is, is, is increase your min uniques to get yourself a little bit less of a guy. And that would probably what I would be doing in a situation like this. I would keep on maybe even min unique three, you know, just to kind of spread out your exposure a little bit more. And then I would download them to my contest here. Um, uh, that should uh, that should do it, I guess, for the very, very early golf look. And again, this is hopefully doubling as well as a tutorial on how to use the uh, how Sabre Sim, how to use my sheets, how to use the contest sims, etc. And I hope to do these every day, but we shall see. Uh, good luck, everybody.